What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, Becky, again with another video. Today, we're going to get into Sean Kingston letting go Duddy Love featuring Nicki Minaj. Duddy Love sounds familiar, but letting go, nothing else about this sounds familiar. 13 years ago, 60 million views. Have I heard it? Maybe, maybe not. Let you guys know. Uh, Sean Kingston was huge when he came out, popping, had multiple bangers, and then just disappeared. Don't know what happened. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. Hope you're having a good day. Come vibe with your boy. Hey, yo, Sean, you Mr. Kingston. Oh! Yes. This one was a banger. Watch you from my eyes, I'ma love you, you see And the way you are whine and the way you are going They said the man I'ma try for rush you like the brain and stop Yo, but baby girl, will you be mine? Let go, show your skin because you're one of a kind go. And I'm gonna lie, like girl, that. I must be in love Cause the way you, you are going, you have my car top Girl, Yeah, bro, this still bangs Bro, the chorus is just gas. So good. Kind of basic, but the performance so good. Dude, this song is gas. It still hits. Yeah, so obviously, I've heard this song. But man, I haven't heard it in a long time. And hearing it now, it this is 13 years old. And it, it, that's when the video came out. I don't know if the song was released before that too. So it could be a little older, 14, 15 years old. I don't know. But it still sounds good. Obviously, it sounds dated, right? There's a lot of synth in here. There's a lot of electronic instruments that they got dated. It, does, it doesn't hold up. But the vibe is still there. The note selection, the structure of the song, the rhythm... Everything is still there and it sounds good. Sean on here, he has a very good sense of the melody 
for the beat. The notes that he was hitting, like a lot of his lyrics were really basic on here, but it didn't matter because of the notes and the vibe that he pushed through into the song made up for it. It was just, it's so good. He could have been saying nothing and you still would want a vibe because of what you're hearing. It just sounds good. Now, this is this is one of those times where he is auto-tuned a lot, but it works. Like sometimes the auto-tune, even though it breaks, which happens here, it still works. It depends on the voice. It depends on the mix. It depends on the instrumental. How does it blend in with everything? And it depends on the notes and the projection of the vocalist for here it works okay sometimes it just comes off as a little cheesy sometimes it's too much auto-tune and it doesn't really blend that well and it, it kind of is like a sore thumb but here it's nice and it works right travis scott is one of those artists that cranks the hell out of his auto-tune but it works for his sound um just as an example so i like that sounds good here even though it's auto-tune it works i like the layers that he chose to do the layering is a really good effect especially as the song builds because the first part doesn't have that then when it does come in you're like yes and then you you're looking forward to it that's nice nikki's part nikki did have a couple bars in here there wasn't anything that was like damn the i think the the hardest hitting bar and it's not even like the way it's not even the the actual bar that's the hard part it's the way that she performed it the ysl i ain't gotta spell it it's it's not even really like a bar. It's kind of a flex, small little bar. But it's the way that she said it and the setup before that. Nikki has a way, and I've said this on many Nikki reactions, of getting on a song and stealing the show. Regardless if the actual lyrics are more complex or harder hitting bars than the other artists, it's the performance. It's the character. It's the energy. It's the way that she says things and the flow switch and the vibe. She really does give it 110% on here, right? And I've noticed that with a few other artists I've been reacting to recently. Dochi does that as well. She steals the show. Megan Thee Stallion steals the show. Uh, a lot of these female artists that I've been checking out lately, they they really do sound good and, and you can tell they're giving it everything they have. Whereas a lot of artists in general, they have songs where it's like, okay, I can tell you, I don't know, you just you just didn't put it all in there. I felt like you wanted to get in the studio, record it, and get out. But here, I don't get that with Nikki. She, she gets on, she brings flow switches, she brings uh, a lot of energy to it, a lot of that vibe. She's fully immersed in it, is what I'm trying to say. And you can feel that, and that energy is contagious, and it pulls you in. So fantastic song overall still hits to this day it's a vibe i'm in a good mood now not like i was in a bad mood before but now i'm in a better mood it's just got great energy love it absolutely love it nikki looks great in here as well always does so that'll do it for today's reaction video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like leave a comment down below it helps the channel grow helps the youtube algorithm if you're new here and you haven't done so Hit that subscribe button with those notification bells. I drop a video every day. If you're not new here, welcome back. Appreciate the love and support. You don't have to do. Leave some comments down below. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you understand what I'm saying when I'm talking about things? Are you like, Sean, you just tripping? Let me know that comment section is for y'all. If you're a fan of Sean Kingston, you're a fan of Nicki Minaj, support the artist. They're already had careers and it doesn't really matter but it's a good habit to have always support the artist the band the youtuber the entertainer whoever's making content or music for you support that person so with all that being said hope you're having a great day send a positive vibes your way and until next time i'm out I'm